Hey guys, so today I am going to talk about a recent article, Depictions of Racism and Magic. Now, I thought that, and I promise that I'm not going to delete any comments on this particular video because I want to have a discussion. Right now, Reddit has locked the discussion. The thread has been locked by moderators of our Magic TCG. I'm not I mean, you knew it was coming. The Reddit thread is extremely pro Wizards of the Coast. And anytime you have the topic of racism, which may paint Wizards of the Coast negatively, you know that this is going to be locked down. So all we have time for right now is a quick statement. We're locking this thread and others on the same topic in order to slow down the torrent of stuff flowing into our mod queue and let us catch all of it. We will revisit this once the queue is a bit less clogged. I was not going to make this video, but then the Reddit thread got locked, and I think it's a good discussion to have. If we ban cards that we deem are racist, like Crusade, Jihad, I mean, we kind of group them in races, but are they more religious? Do we ban cards that are religious? Now, when I was smaller, when I was in elementary and middle school, our teachers had a big issue with one card in particular. It was Demonic Tutor. Now, Demonic Tutor wasn't uncommon. I'm sure that Demonic Hordes, Demonic Attorneys, uh, anything like that, or the, even the Pentagram, right? There was a magic card. I think I'm forgetting what it was. Maybe it was a black lace with a pentagram on it. Actually, you know what? I think it was Demonic Tutor, but I'm looking at it right now and it doesn't have a pentagram. I thought it was Demonic Tutor, but this was a big card because it was so powerful. Do you ban it? It is probably the most played card in EDH. It is one of the strongest cards in Magic's history and especially beloved in EDH. It has multiple reprints, including one with Liliana. Now, okay, do you ban satanic do you ban religious do you ban supreme this supreme that which there are plenty of cards of that <laughs> on top of its name do you ban this do you ban garuk strangling liliana because it is sexist where do you draw the line so in my opinion it is a very interesting discussion so i don't want to get into too much of my personal beliefs, because a lot of times my videos are my own, I just want to give you guys a place to discuss without my opinion. So I have very strong opinions, and that's because, you know, I, I just do. How I've lived, what has happened to me, and so on. So there's seven cards that are banned. Uh, vintage, surprisingly, they're banned in Vintage as well. I think it's pretty amazing what's happening here. Uh, instead of, if you truly want to support a movement, you can do so in other ways. A lot of these bans kind of don't really make too much sense to me. Stone Throwing Devils got banned, but Army of Allah did not. And according to Twitter, this is just the first pass. So they're going to ban a lot more cards. I can think of a ton of cards that would get banned. Army of God. Crusade is an interesting one because Crusade has been reprinted so many times, mo most recently in the Elspeth dual deck. And it has one of, you know, one of the most beautiful artworks um, Cleanse is another interesting one. There's many cleanse-like effects. I think when you start banning cards, not based on playability, or it leads to more cards being banned. Remember, this is the first wave. This is the first wave. And a lot of these are on the reserve list. So there is no safety. The so reserve list has been kind of a safety net. And now it's banned. Now is it banned in EDH? Is it banned in Vintage? Is it banned in Old School? These are questions that 
are still going to be... It is Pandora's box. And they opened it. Now anyone who's offended, uh, for instance, uh, there used to be this really attractive card, Elvis Warrior or something. And it was obviously a fit, fit female elf. And then there was a male version that was a fit male elf. And that was deemed today to be too sexist because our binding or, I mean, even Liliana of the Veil, we can, when you compare to today's Liliana's, where she's fully dressed, is that sexist? Do females feel, if, if, if one female feels offended by this, does the card get banned? There are so many old magic cards that are religious in nature. Clerics, I mean, they even had their own class get called clerics, right? And some of the clerics look like they're doing bad things to other clerics or inappropriate things. How about monkeys? Do, when monkeys, you know, do inappropriate things, should that be banned? Does that affect, does sex offend people? So there's many, many questions, not just racist, but sexist, um, anything that offends people, right? And let's be frank, a reversal of fortune, for instance, that has offended a lot of females. Should that card be banned? Sarah Angel. I just remembered the elf. The elf was Elvis Ranger from Alliance. I think the artwork looks great, but it offends too many people. So therefore, this type of artwork has been slowly but steadily replaced by digital artwork with Captain whoever, who's an 80-year-old grandmother. Captain Beckett, 80-year-old grandmother. So in my opinion, um, when you talk about you know, Venerable Monk, a lot of Magic the Gathering was religious, borderline sexist, and possibly racist. Do you ban the history? And this is not just a discussion. And the reason that I'm opening it up, I'm not going to delete your comments, I promise is because they're having this same discussion, Gone with the Wind, Disney, old Disney movies, should they be re reworked in some way to be less offensive? I saw on CNN a big discussion on Gone with the Wind and how to make it less offensive. Uh, Gone with the Wind is a story that is set when there are plantations and there's slavery, and I don't really understand how you can tell the story i guess you can modernize it but that played a big part or how about civil war movies um and even to civil war statutes for instance should the should all the confederate statute this is not only important for magic the gathering nascar is going to ban all confederate flags from here on out do you agree with that do you disagree with that that's pretty big on NASCAR because of their fan base. And there is a reason they had to ban all Confederate flags because there's probably more, there's probably an even split of U.S. flags and Confederate flags at certain NASCAR, certain Deep South NASCAR rallies. Let's have a discussion. Um, and I don't care, you know, like a lot of times like, oh, let's be friendly to each other. No, I don't give a blank. Let's have a real discussion on these seven cards that are banned. What other cards could be banned? Are you going to ban religious cards? Or are you going to ban sexist cards? Are you going to ban cards that offend people? Are you going to ba ban cards that are offensive to trans people? Are you going to ban cards that are offensive to non-binary people? Are you going to ban Liliana? Are you going to ban uh, cards that depict abuse from male to female how about female to male these are like once you start once you open this pandora's box oh yeah earthbind for instance is that offensive reversal of fortunes is that offensive we are going to find out very soon what magic the gathering is made out of and i'm excited because Many times, Magic players live in a bubble, and this bubble is not reality. I tell you a million times, this bubble is not reality, and now we're being forced to live in reality. How do we act? How do we behave? How we interact? What cards we ban? What cards we don't ban? We'll determine how our community, how in the future our community is composed. 
every single business is dealing with this. From NASCAR, that just removed all Confederate flags, to Nike with Colin Kaepernick, to the NFL with the taking a knee, to government le levels, to Donald Trump, to Nancy Pelosi. And I am very curious how Magic the Gathering and how the player base is going to respond. So I'm not Reddit. Post whatever you blanking want. I don't care. As long as we have a nice discussion and a real discussion. I've even let people I deem who are, I think are racist to post. And that's fine because there's people too. Do I like them? No. But I will let you post because... This is the only place you can do it. Bye, guys.